Okay, y'all, I have a new project, and I hope that you can make out this twin bed pretty clearly on these risers. And I got those risers, by the way, for four of them for a dollar at the Habitat. They're going to make this job so much easier. I don't have to bend down as much. Um, but this bed is a twin um, poster bed. You can see the posts. And they are removable, so they screw off. Um, the best thing about this twin bed is not only these little metal details on the front of the feet. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, but it's the price. It was marked down to $15. So I snatched it, of course. I have four bedrooms. Um, two of which are unoccupied. Um, so um, my goal is to, I don't know if you can see, i to make it so you can see that. Yeah, that's $15. And it looks like it started off at the Habitat for $65. But after it sits for a while, then they keep reducing it. So I go early in the morning so I can snatch up um, just as they mark them down. Um, so this is my newest project. Um, it doesn't have any embellishment here in the center point. Um, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to put my own embellishment on there. I don't know. And I painted this nice, I mixed up a batch of, I guess it would be like a, a muddy gray green color. And that's going to go on there. Um, on this bed and we went ahead and got some slats um, to put down here but this bed was came complete with the headboard footboard and side rails all of which are wooden for only $15 and it makes a perfect guest room bed all right so I'll start off by cleaning this piece moving all these stickers and then we'll begin our prep work and of course, as you know, I seal everything with polycrylic because it dries fast and it's water-based. you guys an idea of what I mean by just a base coat um, that doesn't have to be fancy perfect or cute um, this part is already dry it's been I've been painting this bed for 15 20 minutes um, at the most and um, this first coat is already dry at least at the head of the board where I started um, and that's what I love about using uh, chalk paint is because it helps the paint to dry so fast. You don't have to do any prep work except for clean the piece, 
no matter if it's shiny, you don't have to sand it, anything like that. Any imperfections you can go ahead and remove on your own, but other than that, chalk paint is perfect. So when you get that scratch coat, it doesn't matter that it's, you know, streaky or anything like that. Um, because it's just the base coat for when you go ahead and um, start your project. It's the second and third and subsequent uh, coats that you want to be careful about. So I just want to give you guys a look at um, how I painted um, on this first coat. looking really good after two coats and then of course you do a little touch up for spots you miss that you can't see until after um, but it is perfect now and I'm so in love with this color I don't know if you can see it it's not showing up on the camera that well but it is a gorgeous like muddy blue green it's really cute and then um, so what I've done is I create my own stencils so I'm gonna put one right here um, in gold like this metallic gold color um, I create them out of um, contact paper so it's kind of like it's a simple shape a simple design kind of circle so I'll go ahead and stick that on use my gold metallic to put that on before we poly it because we'll wait to poly the whole piece after it's all done and put together so here we go. Mm -hmm. 